This is FFPÖ, your primary source for Austrian film and TV critique, where two minds come together to take apart the work of people who actually matter. Probably, but I'd say it's a very good mixture. That's what I like about it. It's it's yeah. actually a little bit of everything. You have right. the spy theme in there. Drama, though... thriller, according to IMDb. Okay, uh, yeah. okay. Thriller, definitely. Like, it has some really intense scenes in yeah, there. Yeah, it does. Yeah, but also, I wouldn't call them comic relief <laughs> scenes. <laughs> I think we just Lighter took scenes. it. As yes, comedy. yeah, we were like, oh man, there's like genocide going on and like shitty Germans being shitty. Which we really can relate to. <laughs> oh, you said that. Yeah. No, no. I mean, in general, just from the from the 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 we are now the second generation that mm. had like real history taught to us because our grandparents didn't get it or, or uh, didn't say anything about that time. Then we had our like the, the in between the baby boomers and then yeah. and then and then it's already our parents. And in the 70s and 60s, there were already enough young teachers around so that, that actual, the actual history of the Second World War was taught and not. Yeah. Even though, like, like, it still wasn't good because my mom, for example, history in her class basically stopped with the First World War. Like, they, really? they d- drew it out so long that they never got to the Second World War. That's that's how oh, no. th- that was the workaround back then. Oh my god, that yes. is so sad. Yes, it is. Yeah. Well, my mother is Dutch, ah. so ah. Um, ah, that from explains her the, the height and all. The, <laughs> the height and the what? <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the the general demeanor. No, I don't know. I don't know. This is just you look very cliche for for cliche Dutch. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I do. Yeah. Yeah, I'm half Dutch. Yes, actually, but, uh, mm-hmm. I've 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 uh, a Dutch great grand uncle oh yes oh, yeah. nice yes so so yeah and he, he could be your father <laughs> or your grandfather i guess okay yes yeah they all look the same yes and i was in amsterdam and everything <laughs> okay yeah. okay uh they they all look alike it's oh all that God. it's all those fries and 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 it's the fries uh, it's the fries okay. yeah no that's all like denmark has fries right um, Belgium has fries. They have a Denmark ton. Denmark has fries. I think they have a, a fry speci- speciality. The Germans definitely, the North Germans ha- definitely have some fry dishes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But Spe- so the Belgians and the Dutch are actually famous. Yeah, them. exactly. So. Which is weird because they're slim. Yeah. How? Yeah. How? How, how on yeah. earth would you be slim if you <laughs> yes. just keep eating that, fries that, all day? That diet, the Belgian diet, especially with the waffles and everything. And the like, chocolate? I would kill myself accidentally basically after six months or something like that because i can't i don't know i fell asleep with like a food sleep when you had too much food and you just fall asleep and i fall into the syrup of of the waffle and just suffocate (laughs) that's i'm that's how i go out in 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 belgium basically that's my that's my here it's safe if you fall into a palachinki there's no sauce maybe vanilla i guess yeah there might be some but i don't uh, i don't fuck around yeah the jam is not syrupy enough to you know you think you wouldn't suffocate on the jam (sighs) also the the pancakes are thinner the palachinki is very thin so there's not enough buffer zone i guess Uh, you might blow a bubble into your own breath yeah Yeah. Yeah. okay okay i get it (laughs) very intricate very intricate uh sweet stuff uh, talk here, but let's go back let's let's go back let's go back to the to the to the to the very sad stuff so John Voight plays Peter Miller. I guess his real name would be Peter Müller. Exactly. Yeah. Which is already weird that everybody speaks with a German accent in that movie, and yes. it's an English movie, and it feels kind of it's like seven years in Tibet. Yeah, All totally. All this time you're thinking, why right. do you speak with that accent? Yeah. That wasn't Austrian, technically. It wasn't even Austrian. If if it had been good, <laughs> but it was just something. Yes, it was. Uh, yeah, yeah. And it starts with him being in Hamburg. Oh, let's go to our first segment, I guess. Yes, and of that's course. Plot. I'm editing that later. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Israel.